Well, the entertainment industry will have to make adjustments as we move forward towards coexisting with COVID-19, the new normal. Ian Wason spoke to promoter Ian Panton on the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the industry. Month of major sports events like Copa America, Euros and Olympics due to the COVID-19 pandemic has left disappointed fans here locally. So too the music fans with the postponement or cancellation of the various concerts. Last year was a good year for reggae fans as different promoters brought Bujubantan, Supercat and Bounty Killer among a list of high quality reggae acts for their shows. But in 2020, there have been no shows since Carnival. Promoter of the Redemption, Ian Pantin, told TTT News, since a concert where thousands converging at a venue is an absolute no-no during these times, the entertainment industry has to look at other ways to keep their fans satisfied. Is that a lot of people are taking their platforms digitally. So that's a consideration that we are looking at. And of course, I've um, done some research and I realized internationally, some of these, um, where entertainment and movies are concerned, it looks like some of the old methods are coming back. So people are talking about doing um, drive, drive through cinemas, drive in cinemas again. Going forward, consideration is being given to the virtual concert as an option, as well as other digital platforms, or larger venues and a smaller attendance to accommodate physical distancing. But with no redemption or the concerts this year, the promoters see a loss for the economy. So I would say in terms of um, anything that exposes Trinidad Tobago for having hotels filled, because we fill up the hotels with the artists, mm -hmm. you know, um, having restaurants filled with people, having transportation provided, having other service, all the service providers um, active at your event, um, food, whatever it might be, is a major contributor of some sort to the bottom line of the, um, the economy. Trinidad and Tobago's entertainment industry is not the only one to take a hit. In Jamaica, veteran Shaba Ranks was supposed to be crowned dancehall king at Reggae Sumfest in July. But that crowning will have to be put on hold as the world-renowned reggae stage show was officially cancelled. Ian Wason, TTT News.